Hey everybody, welcome back or welcome to my channel. So I imagine that for the most part the people that are going to be watching this particular video are going to be people that have probably known about me or been subscribed to me for quite some time. Um, I don't think that this will probably be a video that will bring in any new subscribers. Maybe so, I don't know. Um, because of what I'm going to be talking about, trying to explain my absence from YouTube for the last year. Um, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I have already probably filmed this particular video. I don't, I know, I imagine maybe at least twice, um, and just haven't put it out. <laughs> and so here I am going to recreate another one for you. So hopefully this one will just meet my satisfaction, I guess. And hopefully I'll put it out. Um, anyway, just to let you know too, we are sitting outside on my screen porch, my little Southern napping porch, what I like to refer to it as. We're sitting on my day bed. Um, I do absolutely love coming out here. Let me get to why I came here. So I'll, I'll do a little backpedaling too, just in case, um, you know, somebody's watching this that is maybe newer to, you know, my channel. So, um, I started YouTube, oh gosh, it's been maybe five years ago, something like that, five or six years ago, something like that, I think. Um, we have lived in the house that we are currently in now for four years, and I do believe, like I said, I think it's been about five years. Um, and it started out as just a little hobby, and then I found the little niche of home decor, which has always been a passion of mine. I've always loved to decorate. I just, I, I just, I, it's enjoyable to me. So then I, when I found that little niche, I found a way that I could share my home with other people to hopefully inspire other people um, in one way or the other. So um, anyway, that's why I started YouTube. What, what started out as kind of just like a little hobby, it turned into a little bit more. My channel grew um, and I saw it then as kind of a means to um, maybe bring in some extra money for my family. My husband is the only one that works. I have been blessed to be a stay-at-home mom um, my whole entire married life, um, and I'm very thankful for that. I wouldn't trade it for the world. I know some people just, I, I, maybe some people couldn't do that, but I love it. I love being a stay-at-home mom. I have enjoyed raising my kids. So started out YouTube. I saw it as a me wanted to continue because I did see it as a means to make some money. Um, and I made a little bit, let me tell you something, unless you are huge on YouTube or unless you've got some kind of awesome sponsorship, you're not making much money. The little ads that you guys watch, I don't know what this, how much percentage of, you know, what the actual creator gets, but it's not much. Let me just tell you that. But anyway, um, Anyway, that's something else. Anyway, so I continued and I, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it because like I said, I was able to share my home with others and I love the feedback. I love when people are so, they're just, you guys, so many of you are just so kind and so sweet. And I just really, really, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate all the nice, sweet comments that anyone has ever left me. Um, it's super, super appreciated. Um, so doing it, doing it, doing it, going a couple years, could not ever really fully um, find consistency with it. That's one of my biggest struggles, I think, in life is consistency. Um, can you feel me? Anyway, um, so, you know, my ch like I said, though, I, I feel like I had some moderate success. I was happy with it, but I, I was, you know, multiple times um, I'd have burnout, and then we moved in this house, and just like I said, it's just a lot going on. I'm trying to raise a family, trying to take care of a home, trying to take care of an old farmhouse home that needs all kinds of work. Being a great, you know, being a wife, being a, uh, you know, all the, just all the different hats that um, I was having to wear and just burning out a lot and stuff like that. Well, up until recently, the last video that I made, I do think I may have put out one or two Christmas themed videos last year, maybe a hot cocoa bar, I'm not really sure. Um, but it was roughly around this time um, that I just 
I really completely lost all interest in my home kind of pretty much for the most part. I was really questioning. I just, well, I had no motivation. I didn't have motivate to decorate for any holiday. Um, I didn't have any inspiration to change a room around or to redecorate something, which is something that I, you know, do a lot of usually. Um, just very flat, just very blase. Um, YouTube was just, I, I, you know, I say now that it was stressing me out, but it wasn't, there's underlying things. So, but just soul searching and self-reflecting, questioning myself, questioning my abilities, why am I doing this? And just, and it was everything. Just my whole life kind of was just hanging on by a thread kind of. Um, and it wasn't really until my sweet friend, Lisa from Crepe Myrtle Row, she, cause she, you know, I, she lives pretty local to me, um, about an hour away. So we don't see each other a whole lot, but you know, she's a great sweet girl and I love her to death. Um, but she, knew about the situation that I was in and it wasn't really until she told me Kim no wonder you lost so much motivation with YouTube so much motivation with your home this is why and so I'm about to tell you I'm about to tell you so hopefully you'll understand too um but anyway everybody kind of ha has had a weird couple years right I mean our country just everything just in chaos and just so many things have changed things that I would have never thought would change in my lifetime have changed in our world and just strange things and just, you know, you know, sicknesses and this and that and the other, and just all of that. Well, my dog, I, I this is, I don't want this to sound like I'm trying to do a sob story here. Um, I don't, I don't want to make it a sob story. I'm just telling you some background, I guess. Um, my dog Maggie, um, she was on a couple of my YouTube videos. Um, if you, you know, maybe you've seen her anyway. She was a boxer. I love, love, love her. Anyway, she died last year. Um, I think it was, we had to put her down. I think it was May, somewhere in there, May, June, something like that. Um, and she ended up, it was crazy because she had this lump on her throat and it was just small. We took her to the vet and it was tested and she, it came back that she had lymphoma. So I had hope though. And I was just, didn't feel like fearful about her, was praying for her and everything like that. And well, I'm, and I just, I really thought that she was starting to get better. Um, but the lump on her throat kept in getting bigger and she just started going downhill really, really quick. And I'm um, sorry if you saw that in the background, it wasn't a ghost, it was my child. <laughs> anyway, so uh, she started going downhill really quick and we had to do the humane thing um, and we had to put her down and that was devastating. Um, I, I don't wanna cry on, on film or whatever, but you know, if I do, it, that was a good dog. She was the best dog ever. And if you have a close, if you have a close connection with your pet and you've ever lost one, especially, I don't want to say especially because, you know, that takes away from other, everybody else. But in this case, I, I feel like it was even harder because it was so tragic. Like she was only five years old and she was just perfect. And then all of a sudden she wasn't. And she just went down so downhill so quick. And so cancer really sucks. Um, whether it, you know, human or, or, or animal, it doesn't matter what an evil, evil disease cancer is. Um, so we lost her, the world's going crazy. I'm, you know, then I'm, I'm just questioning myself, like, you know, my abilities to, you know, our home. And, and like I said, this home, um, you've probably heard me say it and I'll probably continue to say it on more than one occasion. Sometimes I just don't know what we were thinking. We are in our forties. <laughs> and so, um, we bought this big old house that needs so much work and, I, if, if you've never bought a house that needs a lot of work, you probably won't be able to relate to this. And you think, what is she talking about? But it is overwhelming and it's stressful. And when I say it needs a lot of work, I'm talking some big heavy hitter things, um, roof, kitchen. I mean, just win. I mean, just you name it and it needs it. Um, and I just, 
so so that's got me all you know all these things are just in my life just crazy and then in October of last year like I said so that was about the time that I completely just nixed YouTube altogether um side note let me back back up a little bit um, everybody always asks me, where's your kitchen? We want to see your kitchen. We want to see your kitchen. Um, those that have been on here know that we started a very, what was supposed to be a small, um, I don't even want to call it a renovation in the kitchen. We were, we started I, the kitchen. I couldn't stand our kitchen. I'm just going to be honest. I can't, I, anyway, I couldn't stand it. It was just like this wall. Anyway, so we were going to just kind of slightly fix it up a little bit just to kind of, you know, so that I would like it a little bit more so that it would be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing for myself. Um, we were just going to kind of fix it up just a little bit. It wasn't supposed to be any kind of, we weren't going to replace anything yet. Nothing like that. Um, what started out that was supposed to be something small ended up in something bigger. And then we had to pause. So we, we took out like this wall in there, which was kind of attached to this weird little homemade closet thing. So we kind of took that out and we had, um, I, I took the drywall off thinking that there was like the same, um, it's, it's like a tongue and groove paneling type of a tongue. It almost looks like hardwood floors, but it's up on the walls. It's not, I guess it's not shiplap. It's not that lath or whatever it's called. Um, but it's all through our house. It was underneath of the drywall that was in the kitchen, but unfortunately, after we took it all down, we realized the reason why they drywalled was because there was different windows that had been replaced over time. It's just, so we had to re-drywall and it's just, but then we had to pause. Um, we paused because my mom and dad at the time lived in Savannah, Georgia, which was about five hours away from us now. And um, they wanted to move up here. And so we had an apartment already in our, I call it the barn, um, in our barn, but it wasn't fully like it didn't have a kitchen, but, um, it had bathroom and plumbing and everything like that, but there was no kitchen in there yet. So we kind of had to pause our, um, kitchen renovation, which wasn't supposed to be a renovation to go to the apartment. And we put a new kitchen in there. We you know, had to do a lot of painting and we had to, you know, get it you know, really nice. We put new flooring in and all that stuff and got it really nice because they rent was really, it's really high in our area. And also just the housing market was just crazy. It was hard to find something in a price point that you wanted. And if you did, it would be sold like maybe the same day. So we were like, we'll fix this apartment up for you guys. You guys come here and you live temporarily. Um, until you can find something. And we didn't care how long they were going to be here. It was, you know, so because of that, um, all our resources and all our time went to their apartment. And, um, so they moved up here and then in October, now I'm, I'm kind of, let me, let me, let me get you up to speed now. Um, sorry if I'm kind of a little bit all over the place. I, I tend to do that with stories anyway. Um, hopefully you can keep up. Um, Anyway, so in October of last year, like I said, this is when I put the nicks on YouTube. Um, my mom was having some issues with her side and um, actually she called me one day and I was actually with my friend Lisa and we were, I don't even remember where we were, but it was like, like probably a good hour away from home. And she called me very upset. She actually thought that she was having a heart attack so I panicked. Um, and so of course I left Lisa and came home and she's like, no, no, I'm fine. I don't know. But anyway, she ended up going, um, because she was having such a pain in her side and this and that and the other, she went to the, was going to the hospital and she, she, they, they said, well, you've got pneumonia and da, 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 da. anyway, all, all, you know, all these different things. And, um, so they thought she had pneumonia and then they even told her something about maybe having diabetes and it was just like, what? So, um, anyway, but, but she seemed to kind of, um, get better, you know, and of course, you know, everything with the COVID and all that stuff was going around too and all that craziness. And she ended up getting like, like she would get better, but then she would start feeling 
like that, this heaviness on her chest again, and she would have to go back to the hospital and come to find out she was having fluid that was, I guess, like collecting around her lungs, which is why that one time she thought she was having a heart attack um, because there was a lot, you know, there was, there was a lot of heaviness around her lungs and they were filling, I don't, you know, it was, it wasn't, I don't think her lungs were filling with fluid, but around her lungs were filling with fluid. So they drained that off and she felt so much better and this and that and the other. But um, one of the times that she was in the emergency department at the local hospital, a very rude, I'm going to say rude because I, 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 you know, I was there. I just felt rude and just terrible bedside manner. Um, just, you know, this doctor just comes in this emergency department doctor and was like, yeah, I'm just very smug and basically like, uh, well, yeah, you know, you might have cancer. I mean, he just throws it out there. Just like here, dog, here's, here's, here's a slab of meat. Gnaw on that for a little bit. Um, so we just were like, you know, we looked at each other and we were like, okay, dude, whatever. This is not, no, no. Um, so anyway, didn't, you know, but when someone tells you something like that, it starts to affect you emotionally. I don't care how strong of a person you are or how dismissive you think that you're being, it start, it'll drain you. Right. So, you know, she was, you know, kind of struggling with that. And she, so anyway, she was still continuing to have problems and she had to go back to the hospital again and have this fluid drained from her lung area and they did send it off and they did in fact tell her that she had cancer and um i'd say i, I would you know I, I don't i don't i didn't feel i was like okay you know i didn't feel like fear um but I, I don't know. So, but, but we, and I'm not going to get into a full amount of details here. I, I probably gave, you know, so many details away anyway. Um, but we'll just leave it at, um, we are very, we are, our faith in Jesus is very important to us. Um, it definitely, I hear the birds. Um, our faith is extremely important to us. We believe that Jesus does want us well. God wants us well. I don't believe sickness and disease is from God. Um, but I do know that people get sicknesses and diseases. And I can't explain that. I can't answer that. I, I question it myself. Why people that, you know, shouldn't get it, get diseases. I don't know. I can't explain that. But um, we just have our faith. Um, our faith is strong and like I said so we started praying for my mom of course and we started really believing for a miracle and believing that if it you know this cancer would she would be healed and she really really got serious about um, just really listening to scripture and just surrounding herself with um, um, things that you know um, scripture and stuff like that, you know, whether, you know, she was listening to it all the time, but so I didn't, you know, there, there was, um, faith was like the, the big thing here and just believing for a miracle. And, um, so I, I will just, I'm, I don't want to really completely overly talk, cause to be honest with you, I really can't, I don't like to talk about this. I don't think anyone does. Um, Anyway, so all of that was going on and that's what I was talking about when Lisa said to me, well, Kim, no wonder you kind of lost interest in your home and lost interest in YouTube. You were dealing with all of these things, you know, with life in general and then on top of it, what you were dealing with, with your mom, no wonder. And I was like, you know what, you're right. And I didn't even put two and two together. Um, anyway, so my mom, um, we'd think that everything was you know, good. And it just wasn't. My mom started to go downhill. Um, so she basically got diagnosed in October of last year. And my mom, um, she just, she really went downhill. Um, it, it got to the point where she could not hold any food down whatsoever. 
um, and she lost a tremendous amount of weight. Um, and I just felt completely helpless. Um, and I also feel like <sighs> some people are so wonderful about being caregivers and I'm so thankful for those types of people. Um, and I don't think that that is necessarily one of the skills, one of the, the talents or gifts that I have. Um, I'm, I'm, I, all, I, I don't know. Everybody deals with things in different ways and, and there's no, you don't want to fault people for the way that they deal with things. Um, but it was just like a lot to handle. It was a lot seeing my mom in the shape that she was in and really wanting to believe that she was going to be healed and that we were going to receive a miracle and just kind of maybe I also was like ignore it and it'll go away. Um, just multiple emotions on a daily basis. It felt like we were on an emotional roller coaster and multiple times just, you know, I, I, like I said, I don't want to go into these crazy details um, just because it's upsetting and it's not something that I really like to talk about anyway. Um, but, um, so my mom was diagnosed in October and cancer took her life. Um, she ended up passing away in March and, um, it was just, it was, um, it was very difficult, but I, at the same time, I do feel like God gave me a peace about it because even though I don't feel like she received a miracle, like I was so hoping and praying that she would, um, I do know where she went. I know that she went to heaven and I know that she got a fully restored body when she got there and I know that she was able to reunite with so many of her lost loved ones, my, my grandparents and just my uncle and, you know, so many others. And so I know that she wouldn't trade places like to come back, you know what I'm saying? And so I took comfort in that and I think I handled it better than I thought I would. And I think I handled it better than most people thought that I would. Um, me and my mom were very close and, um, anyway, I, um, I am an only child and so, I, you know, it, it, I had to kind of deal with it on my own. Um, anyway, I'm just, it, it sucks because I, I don't know, I felt like I was too young to lose my mom. <laughs> you know, my mom was supposed to be here and we were supposed to do old lady things together one day. <laughs> um, but that basically is the reason to, to bring this all back around again. Um, that basically is the reason why I was gone from YouTube for a year. Um, I didn't know if I would necessarily ever start making videos again. Um, and it took me a while. It, it's just now that I'm kind of feeling like I'm, I'm maybe not coming back to myself. I still have so <laughs> many things to deal with within myself for sure. Um, <laughs> Don't we all though? Um, but anyway, I, um, I, I know that there were people that I'm sure felt like I kind of just up and left and abandoned them. And, um, if you felt like that, I'm so sorry. I, um, uh, I didn't mean to quit cold Turkey like that, but I just had to, I, I did. I had to, I, um, I just, I needed to. And, um, so now I, I've put out the fall home tour and, I want to tell you that um, I will be consistent this time, but you know, I don't know. We'll see. I, I'm praying about it. Literally, I am. But um, but what? I, I just I've never, you know, I want. I still enjoy sharing my home with others and hoping that I can give even just one person some kind of inspiration. Um, and you know, it's just kind of a neat little community that we have here on YouTube. Lots of people obviously that are here are going to be a lot like-minded and um I love that I love the the unity and the the it's it's nice to have a, a little corner of unity here in this crazy world that we live in um but anyway for those of you that have stuck around for those of you that didn't completely like unsubscribe to my channel or whatever 
I thank you. I thank you for, you know, the concern. Um, and I thank you. I just, like I said, I thank you for still being here. And, um, anyway, so I hope that, um, my story, I hope that that explains my absence. I hope that it gives you a clearer understanding of why I was gone. And um, if you are someone that has lost a loved one, um, my empathy is with you for sure. It's hard. Um, it's hard. And um, I'm thankful that I was able to have my mom in my life until I was in my 40s because I know there's some people that have lost parents that are a lot younger than me. And um, I'm so sorry. I'm just, my seriously, my condolences to anyone and anybody that's going through a battle right now um, with the, the enemy of cancer. Ugh, I hate cancer. It sucks for sure. Um, stay strong. You know what I mean? God is still a miracle working God. He's the same yesterday and he's the same today. And I can't, I can't sit back and explain to you, well, you know, you prayed and you used faith. Why didn't God hear you? I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. And you know what? It's not really my place to, to question. Um, I'm not telling you that I didn't have moments where I was mad at God because I have. Um, mad and angry and bitter and resentful. But I all oh, not not it's like it, it's like I, I it I didn't let it completely overtake me because what good would that have done? Um, and so I do feel like God has given me a lot of peace through this, and I don't know why. Maybe maybe it's for this moment right here to just share this story with you, um, and to encourage you, and maybe someone like I said is out there going through something just like this with either yourself or someone that you love and just know God, like I said, keep, just keep on, keep on praying, keep on, keep on asking, keep on believing, keep on praising. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, um, anyway, but seriously, if, if you do need prayer for anything, please don't ever hesitate to let me know down in the comment section. Um, I want to, I want to start like a prayer list. Um, and, um, I want to write people's specific needs down and not that I am the greatest Christian and I'm the, it's not like I am like this great person that's like praying all the time because I'm not, <laughs> I'm definitely, I'm not, I'm not at all. Um, but I do want to be used by God and I want to be a vessel for him. And so Maybe he's using me in this YouTube, on this YouTube channel for something like this. I don't know. Who knows? But um, I just wanted to share my story with you, why I was so MIA, um, and encourage you. And, 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 and let you know that, um, that um, I, I can empathize with anything that anyone's going through. Um, and um, seriously, I, I do. Any prayer requests that you have. Let me know. Let me know for sure. Um, so like I said, I'm not sure if this will be the next video that you see. Maybe I'll have another one in between um, before this one comes out. I'm not really sure. But um, I hope you guys have a blessed day. I, I feel like I've kind of let you in this video kind of like it's been a little bit depressing. Um, and I don't, I didn't, I didn't intend for it to be depressing. Just know that but it's just my story and we all have a story, right? And so not all stories have, let's face it, we have so many chapters in our lives and not all of our chapters are fuzzy and wonderful. Some of them are just sad and depressing and um, that was the chapter, but I feel like, I feel like I'm, I'm onto another chapter now. I really do. I will never ever not think about my mom every day. I think about her but I do comfort, I, I'm comforted in the fact that I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know with all that is within me, I know where she's at. And I know she wouldn't trade places right now. Like I know she wouldn't come back. I know she's healed and I know she's well, and I know she's just loving, loving it. I know she is. Um, anyway, so much love to you guys for real. <laughs> and um, I hope you can feel um, the sincerity that you know I'm trying to convey right now 
Um, seriously, um, I'm not trying to be all fake or anything like that. I, I promise you that. Um, I, I always feel like I, I want to always just be myself and um, be me. And um, I just want you to know I'm, I'm sincere about the prayers and stuff like that. So um, anyway, on to a happier note, hopefully the next time. <laughs> anyway, um, like I said, much love to you guys. I will see you guys hopefully in the next video. Y'all have a blessed day. And um, seriously, Jesus loves you for real, for real. Anyway, all right, bye guys.